Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm TFR Wilderness and today I've got another KTRT review for you. Yes. Um, now, before we get into the review itself, I'd like to backtrack a little bit to some previous reviews I've done on uh, mold mates, so to speak, of the figure that I'm going to be reviewing today. Now, if you go back to uh, review number 85, which I did on the 15th of September 2016, you will know that I did a review on this guy. This is Turning Metcard HG Phoenix. Um, I got this, reviewed it, and uh, it's a really cool figure. It's uh, it's a, like a red uh, sort of coupe car that transforms into a, like a bird of prey. It's uh, quite large, very impressive, decently articulated, and uh, it's a really cool figure. I really liked it, and I did that review back then. And then last month on uh, the 20th of April, I did a review on this. Now, this is Turning Metcard Junior Phoenix. This is a scaled down version of that mold, the, the HG version. Um, because it's smaller, they simplified the mold a little bit. And the bird mode has got a few loose joints and there's lacking a few paint apps. Uh, so on the whole, I was found this toy to be somewhat disappointing. And uh, But I have done a review on it. So I got that. And uh, so I've got those two versions. So basically I've got both versions of the transforming mold. Um, the regular Metcard figures are kind of things like this. Now this is uh, Prince Kong. And uh, they're for use with the, uh, the trading card game. They've got a little spring-loaded transformation gimmick. And they, 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 they spring open. They go over a card with a metal plate in it. They've got a magnet and they spring open. And uh, these are the main sort of mech card, turning mech card figures. Uh, little things like this. Now you can get Phoenix in this size, which you know, opens up using an automorph gimmick into you know, the bird mode. But uh, I haven't got that because... To me, these aren't proper transformers. You know, that there's no puzzle element to them. They they transform all themselves via a via a spring loaded gimmick. And as neat and cool as they are, they're not, in my opinion, proper transformers. Which is why um, I got given this by Mr. Uh, Hot Rodney Prime, Gary Cherm at last year's TF Nation. So thanks, Gary, if you're watching. Thank you very much for giving me this. So at least I've got one example of a proper Metcard figure. But I much prefer to do the big you know, transforming versions. Anyway, I've got the first two versions of the mold of Phoenix, but there is another one. Um, it's a repaint of the HG figure, and in my last couple of videos, I did you know, show a picture of it, perhaps, and make mention of it that I was tempted on getting it. Well, I've pulled the trigger on it, so I've gone and got Turning Met Card W. Now, the W is quite important because the W stands for... Uh, w upgrade, which was the name given to the the second series of Turning Metcard. That's the Korean series. It's called Turning Metcard W, and a lot of the characters got repaints and upgrades, and as a result, Phoenix got this black and gold repaint. But before we get into the uh, the actual toy itself, let's have a quick look at the box. And here is the box, and you can see it's got this this blue band across the top. It's got the the uh, W upgrade logo there. It's got some pictures of the figure. It's got the high grade logo there, and then it's got a bit on the side, and then it's got you know pictures on the back of some of the characters from the show. Blah de blah de blah, all that stuff. Yeah, so fairly typical box for a HG figure. Now. This is the car mode. Now, as you can see, it's this beautiful black coupe, very, very shiny. It's got, you know, it's got red lights on the back. It's got, uh, got gold pieces here. It's got uh, sort of orangey, well, yellowish gold transparent lights. It's got uh, gold painted wheels. It's got a red bit on the front. But, you know, it's a really swish, sleek, mean looking coupe car. Very black, very shiny, and uh, yeah. Now, obviously, the only thing I've got for size comparison is, is the mini one. Um, now, the mini one isn't that smaller. It's probably about. I mean, if you bring them forwards and back like that, you know, it's about 
three quarters the size. And again, the, the, the bird mode is, is it's still reasonably large. It's not quite as big as the HG version, but anyway. So to call it a junior, well, it is a junior, but I wouldn't exactly call it a minifigure because it's, uh, it's not that particularly small. But if you want to get one of the small ones, get one of the, the proper Met card figures. But anyway, that's the size comparison of the car. Yeah, it's really, really sweet looking ride. And it's just, it's just, it's just in black plastic because the original one was uh, red and yellow with a bit of a uh, bit of orange on it so yeah it's a really sweet looking car and as you can see all my lights are reflecting on it so yeah so that is the car there's not much more you can say about it it does it's got pin wheels it does roll quite well um i can't really show you well, i suppose i could if i uh, bring the pin down as you can see, it rolls. It rolls really well. So yeah, it's got a decent weight to it. It's quite heavy. It, it's really chunky and nice and solid. It uh, pegs together really well. It's a really tough, chunky toy, and it's built to the usual sort of build quality standards of uh, you know uh, Korean transforming robot toys made out of this nice shiny plastic, which is scratch resistant. Um, it's it's very pretty strong solid robust and you you could give it to a younger child and it quite happily play with this and not have any problems so yeah that's the car mode not much more you can say about it than that so now i've got to transform it so uh yeah um where to start i think we'll start with the front so you pull these bits out and then you pull the bonnet forward or the hood fold that piece under leave that for now then you take the sides of the car and you separate them at the back like that and then they're on these ratcheted links which you just sort of bring to the side and you the car is on a on a hinge which you, you bring round and then all right, now you've got to got to open the back first, right? So you've got to get these pieces here, unplug the roof, bring it back, then unpeg these legs, and then you've got to take the body, bring it round, and clip it into place, and then flip it over. Then take the bit at the back. Get these tail pieces which are on the uh, on the inside there fold them out and then fold that up that's the tail this piece here is on this this double jointed link which you fold down and it it clips in at the back here like so Then you get the uh, the wings, rotate them round, and then you fold out these bits, spread the, uh, the feathers on the end, and you get these gold bits, fold them out. And then you just go down to the feet and open up the talons like so. And there we have Turning Met Car WHG Phoenix in you no know, bot mode or bird mode. And wow, <laughs> yeah, it looks amazing. Um, this black and gold paint scheme just just looks incredible I mean here it is next to the original one as you can see it's got a, you know whereas this one has like the red and the white this one's got the black and the gold um, and then 
it's you know it's all it's all the different colours going on. Um, mold wise, it's exactly the same as the other one. You've got um, you've got ratchet joints there which go up and down. They also twizzle round. There is a bit of a clearance issue with these bits on the back, which you've got to be aware of. Um, the wings can fold. Um, there's uh, little feather things there that you can move around. Um, no articulation on the head. It has got articulation on the uh, the legs. They do splay in and out a little bit. You have got, I suppose you can call it a thigh rotation or, or a knee rotation there. And then you've got a little bit of a ratchet there. And of course the, the claws can open and close as well. Um, the, the back of the bird there's not really much going on. You can sort of move these tail pieces in and out a little bit, but apart from that, that's all I can say about the articulation. It's got the same articulation as the other one, and it's a really cool looking bird. Um, I suppose a typical size comparison next to uh, Combiner Wars Leader Mix, because I use him for things. And uh, yeah, it's quite a quite a large bird. And I quite like that. Um, it's scale wise, I think it's more or less in scale with a, a small bird of prey. Uh, not like a bigger one, but I, I'm thinking like something like a kestrel or a hobby, something something small. It's probably almost the same size as a real bird of prey, maybe slightly smaller. But, you know, it's, uh, it's quite cool. And you can more or less get it to perch on your hand like that. Now, cool looking figure, awesome colours, love it to death. However, on getting the toy, uh, I have seen some potential problem areas on it. Now, we are, of course, referring to gold plastic. Yes, unfortunately, this figure does have gold plastic on it. Um, I don't know whether it's of the, the GPS variety, but if you look, it's got gold plastic on these knee joints. Uh, it's got gold plastic on that link joint for the front of the car there. It's got gold plastic on these little links for these these little wing pieces here. And the tail section's made out of gold plastic as well. And you look underneath, there's that link there. So basically all the links, all the joints for this figure are made out of gold plastic, which is a bit worrying. Um, yeah. Uh, I assume that obviously they've done it because it's black and gold. Uh, hopefully the, the mix of plastic they've used on this is, is one that's safe and durable. Only time will tell. Um, it's not the first time. This figure is obviously made by Sonicon. Um, it's another product of Sonicon who do Hello Carbots. And uh, I did get a figure from the Hello Carbot line. It was um, uh, Hello Carbot uh, Pony Meister. In the show, he's like a, sort of like a maroony color, and he's got lots of yellow highlights on the bot mode. But when they did the toy, basically all the yellow parts were done in gold plastic, and he looks very suspicious. You know, he's got all these gold plastic parts all over him, and uh, it's a similar case here. Um, now, I, I have looked closely at these gold pieces, and there, there is some evidence of swirlage and you know, sort of like hairline fractures in some of them. Don't know whether that's a, a genuine problem, but who's to tell um these are made in china um i don't know whether the chinese factories know about gps syndrome i don't know uh yeah i mean a lot a lot of the gold on the the head the head sculpt which is really cool is is painted on um some of the gold on the car is painted on as well those bits there they're painted on um so it's not all gold but i mean these bits of gold plastic Obviously, you've got the knees and then all the linkages for all the transforming pieces. So, yeah, don't know what's going to happen there. But anyway, I'm still glad I got it. Um, I paid a little bit more for this than I did the uh, the original one. Because um, this one you can get for like about less than 25 quid now. It, it has gone down in price quite a lot. You can pick this up pretty cheap. Um, this one I paid, I think it was 30, just over 30 quid for it, but uh, it's a lovely repaint. Um, now, 
when I did got the the junior version, I had hoped that they was going to do the black repaint, this repaint, on the the junior figure, and then I would have bought the junior version with the black, you know, with the Tony Metcalf W version in the black and gold repaint, and I would have had two versions of the mold in two different colours. That was my the my the, the ideal situation that's what i wanted but unfortunately they have not done the uh the turning met car w repaint on junior phoenix so if i wanted the uh, the black gold version i had to go for the big one now this leads me to another problem i've now got two versions of the same mold now i'm not i mean i have got exceptions to the rule where i've got you know sort of repaints of the same mold but i don't T tend to do it normally I don't tend to go for the repaints if, if there's two different versions of a mold I usually go for the original one if not the variant um, so I really like the look of this which is why I got it um, obviously now I've got it and I've seen these uh, these gold plastic bits on it I'm a little bit this is a little bit dubious um, but I don't know so it leads me to think you know what am I gonna do with this boy um, I could keep it, could certainly keep it. I mean, he's been on my KTRT shelf pretty much since I got him. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of donating it to somebody, perhaps. Maybe giving it away. Um, definitely thinking about it, but we'll have to see. Um, I haven't quite made my mind up on that yet, but there's, there's a particular person who I have in mind I think might appreciate this very much as a gift seeing as um, they gave they gave me one <laughs> last year. So um, tip for tap, I'm uh, planning a, a return a return uh, gift giving, but I don't know, we'll have to see about that. But I am thinking about passing this on because I now have the black gold version. So yeah, there it is. Uh, turning Metcar WHG Phoenix. Um, it's, it's a really cool toy, um, awesome looking colours, awesome looking bird, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great mould. Bit worrying that it's got gold plastic on it, but well, we don't know whether it's uh, the dodgy kind of gold plastic, but only, only time will tell. But yeah, that's been my review of this guy, and uh, yeah, so that, that's, uh, that's that all done. Um, right, so just before I sign off, uh, a couple of other things um, obviously next week next Thursday well that depends because uh, I'm looking at the diary the uh, calendar on the wall and I've got I've got some um, some overtime happening next Thursday so I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do my end of month bot haul on the day itself I might have to do it on uh, June the 1st but we'll have to see about that all I will say is that this month's haul has been a bumper one. It's been a brilliant haul. Um, most of the stuff arrived in the first two weeks. Um, I've had a, a pretty big haul, and I've still got money to spare. I haven't spent my entire budget, so it's uh, it's been a pretty good month so far. Um, and uh, next week, I'm definitely planning on doing the, the next update for my uh, Ultra Magnus restoration. Um, I've got the video clip because um, basically when I did the, the last one where I, I did the sticker removal I also at the same session I also did the washing as well which is what I'm going to show in this next video but I split it up into two separate videos I've had I bought a few parts off eBay um, which uh, I, I will uh, make a mention of and there's some couple of bits on there at the moment which are going to on an auction that's finishing tomorrow I may or may not do a play on them I don't know we'll have to see but anyway, so that's that. Um, so you, you can expect to see at least two videos from me next week. So with that said, I've been TFR Wilderness. I hope you've enjoyed this little review I've done today, and I'll catch you all next time. Ta-da.